Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 28 October 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor online Madeleine Arnaldi writes that a climate resilience development pathways approach is seen as key to building climate ready infrastructure. The efficacy of South Africa's climate change mitigation efforts largely depends on how resilience is embedded in infrastructure development and adaptation strategies overall, which the Presidential Climate Commission recognizes in its Just Transition Framework. The engineering news features focus on stainless steel, where a new policy aims to ensure industry sustainability. Embedded electricity solutions, where load shedding is impacting on embedded generation uptake and personal protective equipment, where quality components are used in local PPE manufacture. The Mining Weekly features include a profile on Minerals Council South Africa, where private sector investments are key for the just energy transition, and open cast mining, where load shedding affects water management systems. This week's business leader is Dirk Lawrence, COO of Robex Group. And in this week's cartoon, South African businesses had a torrid 2022 with intense load shedding, a freight logistics strike and serious flooding all harming production and exports. This hostile business and investment setting will be further rocked by what now looks to be the inevitable grey listing of the country by the Financial Action Task Force. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.